Right, guys. So a little bit of background about uh, Chinese University of Hong Kong Shenzhen, well as its name, it is located in Shenzhen. And then they offer various, pro various degree programs. It's quite a comprehensive university. So they are offering uh, programs in business and then in computer science, in finance, in engineering, in humanities, marketing, uh, data science, statistics, and all. So we'll be hearing the presentations uh, for Chinese University of Hong Kong Shenzhen soon. And then a little bit as well about the agenda for today's uh, on and open day. There are still about nine, there are still about seven universities that are in line waiting for the presentation to start. So we have Chinese University of Hong Kong Shenzhen next. And then after Chinese University of Hong Kong Shenzhen is done, we have uh, Shantou University Medical College, which offers MBBS program. So if you want to apply for MBBS program, please stay tuned because we have Shantou University Medical College uh, uh, presenting about the MBBS program. And then after that, we will have Beijing Foreign Studies University International Business School, which offer a master's and also bachelor's program in business. And then we have Northwestern Polytechnical Universities in Xi'an, which is a comprehensive university. They offer various programs in business, engineering, computer science, aerospace engineering and all. And then there is, uh, and then after that, there is Southern University of Science and Technology, SASTEC, which is also quite a comprehensive university because they offer various uh, programs like science, engineering, business and all. And then after that, followed by Zhejiang University of International Business School, which offer bachelor's and business, and sorry, bachelor's and master's program in business. So they offer uh, MBA program, they offer international master's of finance programs. And the last one would be Shandong University, which is also a comprehensive university, but they offer MBBS as well. So if you'd like to go for MBBS, please stay tuned until the end. All right, so I think we have Moray now here joining. Yeah, Hi, Moray, can you hear me can now? You hear us? Yep, I can yeah. hear you now. All right, okay. Sorry about that, I've got no idea. This is very strange. I, I'm uh, nope. here, no but think so, uh, yeah, all right. Uh, I'll just share my screen. Thank you everyone for joining us today and thank you Nadia for, for filling in while whatever the tech problem was, was solved. I'm here to talk about the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Shenzhen. Uh, I expect probably a lot of you have heard of the Chinese University of Hong Kong, a very famous uh, world-renowned university. Um, this is the first campus of the Chinese University of Hong Kong in mainland China. So we'll talk a little bit about that today. Um, we have set up a WeChat group. Uh, so we've got this QR code and I'll have this QR code on screens all the way through the presentation. Um, if you scan this code, you'll join our WeChat group and you can talk directly with Eleanor, Yuki and myself uh, in the WeChat group and ask your questions there. Alternately, of course, do please drop your questions into uh, the chat box here and uh, either Eleanor or Yuki will try to answer if they can. Um, and if there's time left at the end of the presentation, I'll certainly get around to answering a few questions. Uh, one thing that I do want to mention very quickly, and I will come back to uh, a couple of times during the presentation here today, please note we are very closely approaching our application deadline. If you intend to apply for a trial university, please note that applications close next week. This is the 15th of May. Uh, so if you listen to this presentation and you decide that this is a university you would like to apply for, uh, please get your application in as soon as possible and I'll talk about how to do it and so forth. But first, um, if you do wanna contact us, uh, again, I'll have these details at the end of the presentation. Uh, do please go to our website, check out information on our website, send us an email or connect to some of our social media and uh, we'll be very happy to answer your questions there. Again, I'll put these details up at the end of the presentation again. So let's talk about this university. What is this university? Uh, as mentioned, we're linked to the Chinese University of Hong Kong in Hong Kong. This is a very world-renowned university. It's ranked 43rd in the world and ninth in Asia. Um, but the Chinese University of Hong Kong Shenzhen is the first campus of this university back in mainland. And this was opened in 2014. So it's a very new university. But what I'd really emphasize here as I talk is 
even though we're very young, even though we've only been open for seven years, in these seven years, we've already achieved uh, phenomenal growth and phenomenal uh, development as one of China's best universities. And looking into the future, this is only going to continue to develop. So what we're selling here, what we're telling you about is um, one of China's best universities and gradually becoming one of the best in Asia and hopefully in the future, one of the best in the world. All of our programs are taught in English. Um, you do not need uh, any HSK or any Chinese language uh, skills to be admitted to our university. However, obviously we will teach you Chinese while you are here also. Uh, you do need to demonstrate English language proficiency to be admitted. Uh, most of our degrees are four-year undergraduate degrees. However, there are a few which are opening up now, such as clinical medicine, which are six-year degrees. For those of you who are still a little bit hazy on Chinese uh, geography, Shenzhen is located down in the bottom southwest, the southeastern corner, sorry, of China. So just across the border from Hong Kong, between Hong Kong and Guangzhou. Uh, this is a really fantastic location for any number of reasons. For one, this is um, one of the biggest development areas in China at the moment. Shenzhen as a city alone, I'll talk about that a little bit more later, is one of the most dynamic and one of the, the richest city actually in China at the moment. It's uh, easy to get to. We've got international airports in Guangzhou, Shenzhen and Hong Kong. So it's very easy to get in and out uh, of here. And Shenzhen as a city overall is one of the greatest success stories in China. So when you come here to study, you're going to be studying in one of the most exciting parts of China and one of the most dynamic parts of China. Uh, but very easy to get in and out of and a great uh, gateway to the rest of the world and to Asia indeed too. I'll start by talking a little bit about our courses because this will help you decide whether, whether this is a university for you. We've got a few main areas that we look at here at CUHK Shenzhen. So first is our business school. Uh, in our business school, we cover topics like economics, finance, uh, global business studies, marketing and communications, professional accountancy. A few things to mention here about why you'd want to come here to study. First of all, uh, all of our courses are accredited by the AACSB. This is an international organization who recognizes only the absolutely elite business unit, business courses worldwide. And so we're very honored to have this. But even more than that, we are part of the CUHK Business School. And the CUH, CUHK Business School is ranked in the top 30 in the world. So when you come here to study uh, business, you're graduating with a degree from a university ranked 43rd in the world and from a business school, which is ranked in the top 30 in the world. And add to this, the students that we have at our university are amongst the best in China, uh, absolutely elite students. And so you're studying with these students who are not just going to be doing simple business jobs in the future, but these are gonna be the business leaders of the world in the future. And business is all about networking. So when you come here to study business, you're studying one of the world's best courses, you're studying with a lot of the world's best students, you're studying with professors and academicians from all around the world, and you're getting a degree which will take you places in the future, in addition to having those networks and those contacts to build on. In addition to this, we have three schools of science. We have the School of Science and Engineering, Life and Health Sciences, and Data Science. Um, now, these cover a range of topics from various engineering courses to uh, health courses, medicine courses, and into probably the biggest growth field at the moment, which is data science, big data technology, um, computer science, and fields like this. Um, again, these are some of the best uh, schools at our university and best, most popular courses. Computer science and engineering is by far and away uh, our most popular course with international students because of the growth of artificial intelligence and the growth of um, online applications and things like this. So these fields are um, at the cutting edge of, of research and development. And all of these link into some of the research facilities that we have here on campus. We have 
uh, AIRS, the Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Society. We have uh, the Shenzhen Research Institute into Big Data. We have research institutes into um, computational biology, regenerative medicine, innovative drug discovery. Uh, all of these fields tie into our research, into our science schools here. And so what you have when you come here to study is not just an ordinary course, but you have the world's best courses taught by the world's best professors leading into the world's best research facilities and studying with, again, some of the world's best students. The two remaining schools we have, uh, Humanities and Social Sciences. Um, in Humanities and Social Sciences, most of our international students tend to be interested in applied psychology. Um, however, we do also offer courses in English studies and translation. And very excitingly opening this year, but uh, opening mainly for recruitment next year is our Conservatory of Music. So if you're uh, a budding musician and you want to look at uh, a future in music, then we have a brand new Conservatory of Music, uh, which is uh, very exciting. For postgraduate courses, again, most of our uh, uh, postgraduate degrees fall into these schools again. So very strong science, engineering, data science courses mixed with the business school, the Shenzhen Finance Institute, and once again, some of the humanities based courses too. Now, my team tends to be working on undergraduate rather than postgraduate. So we might be able to provide a little bit of advice about postgraduate applications. Um, but more than likely, what we'll do if you're interested in these is we'll direct you to the postgraduate uh, departments within our university to answer any questions that you might have in that area. So the question here then is, is this university right for me? Obviously, you're attending a China admissions presentation, so I assume you're interested in China and Chinese culture. Are you interested in studying business, science, technology, engineering, maths, uh, psychology, music? Okay, cool, if you are, this is an option for you. And then the next three questions are really the key ones here. Where do you wanna go with your life? What do you wanna achieve? And are you up for the challenge which this university presents? This is not a uh, simple university. As mentioned, the, the students who come here are extremely talented. And if you are attending to come here to study, you need to be ready to take on a really serious uh, academic challenge for the coming years after this. So let's talk a little bit about this. Why would you come to our university? First of all, the quality. Uh, Chinese University of Hong Kong, Shenzhen is already the number one joint university in China. As mentioned, we're only seven years old, but we've already become number one uh, in this field. We are attracting some of the best students from around China. We're already up to um, circulating amongst the best universities in China. When you graduate from our university, you graduate with a degree from a university ranked in the top 50 in the world. All of this is built based on our education. So again, uh, most of the education systems and education standards come from the main campus in Hong Kong. All of our courses are taught in English. These are courses designed to be at the cutting edge, designed to be really challenging the best thoughts and leading, leading ideas worldwide. You will get Chinese language training while you're here. So you will learn Chinese and you'll improve Chinese. But again, you do not need Chinese to come here to study. Um, however, I would strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that if you come here to study, you work hard on your Chinese because this will help you with internships and other things like this. We have a fantastic staff to student ratio in addition to having some of the world's best professors. They're very available for our students to talk to and communicate with. And then in addition to this, we're not just interested in providing you with the academic knowledge to do the field you're studying, but also to develop you as a person. And so therefore, we take the values of the main campus and we try to build you as an overall person through courses like the general education program, through living in our dormitory system and so forth. In terms of classmates, and I've touched on this a few times already, when you come here to study, you're studying with some of the best students in the world. This is a university where we're taking students away from the Qinghua's, the Beijing, Peking universities and the Fudan's. We're getting 
a lot of the cream of China coming here to study. So when you come here to study, you're studying with some of the best students in China. These are people who you're going to be building relationships with and learning to work with and living with while you're here. In addition to this, obviously, we're building a huge international community with people from all around the world. Um, a couple of them in the photo here, one of the Russian guys and one of the Pakistani ladies who studies at our university. So again, the people who you study with, the classmates who you're dealing with are really important. The lifestyle on campus too. Uh, our university prides itself as being a, a bridge between China and the West. And so when you come here to study, we've got this amazingly varied lifestyle where we, we do celebrate things like Halloween, Christmas, and things like this in fantastic little parties. But we also have Spring Festival. We have an annual concert, which is held at the Shenzhen Concert Hall. We have bands playing board game nights, all these stuff on campus, which is designed to uh, keep you entertained and help you learn about China, learn about Chinese culture, but also feel comfortable with where you are and be part of the lifestyle here. And trying to find a balance between studying hard and um, enjoying life and learning more about the world in general. The quality of our university is recognised by the universities that we partner with worldwide. Already, again, within seven years, we've developed partnerships with 100 world-class universities, over 100 world-class universities, and these are some of the best universities in the world. So you'll see on this list, Yale, Cambridge, Duke, uh, University College London, basically best universities all around the world where already got partnerships with where you can go and do exchange programs, joint degrees, um, summer programs and things like this. And even after you graduate, most of our students continue to these universities to do their postgraduate studies and receive many offers from these universities. However, above and beyond this, there's also a huge number of opportunities on and around campus. We've got uh, the Center for Innovation Design and Entrepreneurship and the Makers Workshop, which are designed to give you opportunities to develop here on campus. I've mentioned already the research facilities, but also going back to Shenzhen as a city, this is China's richest, fastest growing, um, highest GDP city in, in current market. And what this means is the businesses here, the opportunities for you to get internships and employment are absolutely amazing. And actually the average graduate salary for our students is amongst the highest in China. So when you come here, you're graduating with a degree where you can either continue to postgraduate study at some of the best universities in the world, or you can go out and get a job. And when you get a job, you can get some of the best salaries and best opportunities of any university in China. Finally, we do have a range of scholarships available. Uh, these range from our entry scholarships, which are four year scholarships up to full tuition and full accommodation. Um, however, we also have uh, different scholarships for academic performance uh, based on what college you're in. From, we have government scholarships also, and we also have work study programs for students who live here on campus. So if you can demonstrate that you are strong enough to come to our university to study, if you can demonstrate that you have the ability and the interest in the fields in which uh, we're offering, you can come and study here for free if you are good enough. So to apply, um, we'll share this information again uh, if we can later, but uh, online application programs for both undergraduate and postgraduate options. Um, if you're planning on coming for undergraduate, a general guide that we would give you is uh, you need to be in the top 15 to 20%. You're gonna need to have an IELTS score of 6.0 or higher and you need to get your application in before the 15th of May, before next Saturday, um, if you want to be considered for entry in 2021. Uh, annual tuition costs, and again, this is all for undergraduate, not for postgraduate. Uh, postgraduate arrangements are slightly different, but undergraduate costs, uh, tuition fees are about 95,000 RMB. Most international students receive their accommodation on scholarship. Um, but if you do have to pay, it's very, very cheap. 
And you'll find that unlike almost every other university in China, you'll be living with the Chinese students, not segregated from them. And then finally, uh, living costs, we expect are about 2000 RMB per month, which is about 300 US dollars. So uh, thank you very much. Once again, apologies for the difficulties connecting. Um, gonna have to get these all sorted one day. Uh, do please note down our social media and our contact details. Um, if you haven't already, please scan the QR code and join our little WeChat group and we'll, have a, we'll be able to answer your questions there. If you don't have WeChat, uh, do please send us an email at intladmissions at cuhk.edu.cn, shown down there in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Or as I said, jump onto some of the social media, go and check out uh, some of the videos on YouTube or uh, jump onto our Facebook page and see what's happening here at CUHK Shenzhen. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Nadia, for having us and for China Admission for having us here uh, today. And uh, again, apologies for the connection problems. Thanks, Murray, for the presentation. Thanks for sharing a lot of information about uh, Chinese University of Hong Kong Shenzhen. And guys, uh, they do have the WeChat group. If you have any questions, you can just Scan the QR code over there and then join the WeChat group and then ask your questions directly to the admissions team at Chang'e University of Hong Kong Shenzhen. Again, thanks, Murray, for uh, the presentation. Don't worry about the technical issues. It happens all the time. <laughs> One yeah. day we'll have it all sorted and all be nice and smooth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Again, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.